ask you about another speech that happened this week. I listened uh, to President Trump's uh, entire over one hour long speech. I counted 38 separate factual allegations of, uh, of, of voter impropriety. Um, and I was struck by the fact that almost every one of them could be uh, resolved in a courtroom or in a state legislative body, but not a single one of them would be resolved by scaling uh, the walls of the Capitol. So uh, I, I guess my question is, is part of the anger of setting expectations at a ridiculously high level? I mean, Mike Pence was never going to undo this election. Um, and, and I don't think there was going to be a separate set of electors ever ever put in for Arizona or Pennsylvania. So what is the role of a leader uh, to be mindful of his or her rhetoric? Uh, the opposite of what Donald Trump has been doing for the past six weeks. I mean, I agree with Dave, Victor that we are at a revolutionary moment, but the person who's responsible for bringing us to that revolutionary moment is Donald Trump. Uh, you know, Donald Trump lost a winnable election. Uh, they were, there were, uh, the, the reason he is not president of the United States today is not because of voter fraud, uh, it is because over the past year, he offended so many people who, if you look at the polls, right before, in, in the fall of 2020, Gallup came out with a poll that showed 56% of Americans say they are better off now than they were four years ago. So it, it is unthinkable that a president of the United States could lose an election when that record, that's the most of any president at any time since Gallup has been asking the question, that the president could lose an election with those kinds of numbers. So there were millions and millions of Americans who liked Donald Trump's policies, who support Donald Trump's agenda, but didn't want Donald Trump. Um, and he, he, uh, he, he lost seniors in Arizona. He, he went down by five points in Arizona, by 10 points in Georgia. Uh, part of that is because he spent a lot of time mocking Joe Biden's senility. Uh, and a lot of seniors don't like people making fun of people with memory losses. Uh, so he offended a lot of seniors. He offended the the suburban voters and drove them away. And they and they they he won them by two percent and he lost them uh, by a significantly in the in the key swing states. So he lost a winnable election and allowed to, allowed the Democrats come into power. And then he brings us to this moment on January sixth where he brings a crowd to Washington, incites them with lies, self-serving lies uh, about about a stolen election calls out members of Congress for being weak and says we have to get re rid of these weak Congress people, and then tells them to march down Pennsylvania Avenue and take back our country. What did he think was going to happen? I, I think Mark misunderstood me. On November 5th, I said that Donald Trump should cease uh, questioning the results of the election because it was going to lose Georgia, perhaps, and ruin his legacy for at least a year term. So I've been on record that uh, there was oh, no Mr. chance Mike, of Mike that election, even so though I... But I, I want to make a correction. I wasn't there's a big you. difference. Okay, well, there's a big difference, Mark, between enabling and creating a revolution. And this, if, everything you say, and I agree with a lot of what you said about Donald Trump, but that would then what empower somebody like Clinton or even Obama. But it didn't empower Clinton or on Obama. It declared it, it's empowered something very different that was not of Donald Trump's making. That's my point. These people are not Democrats. They want to pack the court. They want to let in Puerto Rico. They want to get rid of the Electoral College. They want to end the filibuster. They want to have a national voting law. That's, that's the, on them. They're a revolutionary mo movement. And Donald Trump strategically went out you. because you're right. This is a revolutionary group of people. And Donald Trump gave them uh, the power. I agree with that. But he didn't create it.